Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Project Hospital where we now have a radiology department in our hospital which is all very good news indeed. I mean right now it is just the x-ray room just here and the waiting room just here and that's kind of it. We've not got things like the MRI scan and the CT scan and all that kind of stuff in just yet. I don't really think we have the demand for those and also I don't think we've got the money. I think they're quite expensive so when we actually need those rooms we'll put them in. But right now the x-ray room is doing very well indeed. It's very busy, it's very helpful it is doing a grand job however we are going to make one little change to the x-ray room because people in the comments on the previous video were quite touchingly concerned for the welfare of Danielle here who is our wonderful kind of x-ray operating specialist because they pointed out that there is no wall between her and the x-ray machine over here so she is going to be dozed in radiation all day every day which is quite bad unless she gets superpowers which could be quite fun but I don't think radiation based superpowers are part of the game right now so I think we might need to build a little wall for her to kind of hide behind to avoid some of the radiation that comes from the x-ray machine over here. I mean, it's okay for the people actually having the x-rays. They get one little kind of blast of it and then they go away and that's kind of okay. But yeah, poor Danielle is going to be blasted with radiation pretty much all day. So that could be quite dangerous. I mean, in the game, I don't think it makes any difference. I don't think it makes any difference at all. She could literally be standing next to that machine all day, all the time, and she would be fine. But I think, you know, for a little bit of realism, let's add a wall over here. That could be quite helpful. So if we pop over to here and we need to get some walls in place. So what I think we should do is... Let's build a wall along here, so a solid wall just there, maybe even to just there, so she can work behind the wall. The screen thing where she can check the x-rays is still behind the wall, that's okay. And then what we'll do is, oh, hang on, hang on a second. I think she's using the thing, isn't she? Hang on, let's wait for her to finish jabbing the buttons on the control panel thing. Yeah, there we go, we've got an injured person. I suspect it's your feet. Good tie, very good tie, I like that, hot pink tie, very nice. Um, Okay, hang on. You're still standing there. Ah, your next patient is Jennifer Jones. Okay, so she's coming in. Okay, right, so when Jennifer Jones has had her x-ray, we'll do a little bit of kind of building work. Oh, it's a lie down x-ray, okie doke. Because yeah, look, that thing's now going wob, 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 and radiation is coming off it because that's the noise an x-ray machine makes. And yeah, poor Danielle is getting hit with that again. So she got hit of radi uh, radiation from Chappie who was there. And now another hit of radiation from this. I mean, very soon she's going to be quite sort of, you know, glow in the dark or whatever. So I do think maybe we should build a wall. Right, I think she's telling her to stay still. Yep, yeah, thumbs up. Good job. And that is kind of it right now. She's going to look at what's happening. That is not what you x-rayed. <laughs> her feet are down there. You x-rayed in the middle somewhere. Uh, what is wrong with Jennifer Jones? What do we have? Uh, a simple fracture of ulna, radius, arm contusion, or simple fracture of humerus. Oh, she's hurt her arm. Okay. Right, okay, hopefully this will help out a bit. Right, close back on. Has that helped? Did it help kind of narrow that down at all? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, move time on a bit quicker, please. Let's get her up from that. Ah, yeah, an arm contusion. Okay, so it's a big kind of bruise on your arm. Sounds very unpleasant. Right, now we can change things around in here a bit. So go to the building thing. Um, right, hang on. So where are those walls? So it's that. No, where are those walls? That one there, is it? But it's that colour. Is that what that wall is? No, it isn't. It isn't that wall at all. Okay, hang on. Um, can we can we drop her this? Yes, there we go. We'll drop her the wall, I think, because I'm not going to know where it is otherwise. Right, so we'll drop that. Oh, it's that one at the top there. Okay, that's fine. So I think if we build a little wall going along like that, and then, of course, turn it round and do that side of the wall as well, so she has a bit of a wall kind of blocking her from so the radiation coming from the x-ray machine. But then I think, I think what we do is come out of that. We grab that. We put that just there and then get the wall again. It was that one, wasn't it? So I build a bit like that. And then just here, can we have glass? Can we have a big kind of glass panel? That's an aluminium panel. That's not going to work. Like a big glass. That's aluminium as well. It's going to be a big window then. So a big window, so she can see out, see what's going on. But again, she is behind some sort of protection. I think that'd be quite good, would it not? Right, so I add a little bit of wall to that just there. And then, um, okay, windows then. So it's going to be a full window. A glass wall, that's perfect. Yes, we will have ourselves a glass... That's not very happy with that, is it? Hang on. <laughs> it's 
Uh, oh, it's got to go on a wall section. Of course it has. Of course it has. Hang on. Um, so we'll put that in. Um, hang on. Rotate that round again like that. So drop that in like that. So we have a bit of a wall. And then, hang on. Do we need to do the other side? Yes, we do. And then go to here and then say, yes, a glass wall, please. Okay. So now she's a little bit more protected. And then when she's actually doing her work, she can stand behind something. We'll pretend it's like, you know, radiation proof glass or something, because is that a thing? I've got no idea. But uh, yeah, she can stand behind that and then, you know, feel a little bit safer. But the screen where she looks at her results is still over there. It's still near her computer. So that's absolutely fine. Yeah. OK, I like that. That's quite good. Let's see if that works, however. Let's just make sure that actually does work. So, uh, oh, OK. Danielle has cleared off for a bit. Where are you going, Danielle? Are you going to the loo? No, she's going to go and use the wonderful break room. Oh, that's very exciting. That's the first person we've seen to actually go and use this. Oh, that's wonderful. She's had a little sort of bit of food from one of the serving things over there. I don't know who restocks these. I assume that we have somebody that kind of nips in on the quiet and kind of restocks the food things. So she had a little bit of food, a little bit of a sit down. And now she's heading back to work, I would assume. If she's nipping to the loo, we won't watch. No, there we go. She went and used the break room. So how are we looking? So what's that? So satisfaction is okay. Uh, rest is looking pretty good. Uh, bladder is looking a little bit low. I mean, you could have nipped to the loo just then, but that's okay. And then, um, yeah, hunger is nice and high because she went and had a little bit of food over there. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that's actually been used because we spent quite a bit of money and time and effort on getting that all set up. So it's quite nice to see that it's actually been used. Okay, wonderful. Right, are you doing anything else? She's back out of her room again. I imagine she is going to go to the toilet now. I imagine she's going to nip to the loo. Hang on, let's see, because her toilet need is a little bit low. Yeah, okay, we'll watch her on the loo, because that's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, look at this, we've got through, what have we got? Nine patients treated today. That's very good. If we get another, oh, 10 patients treated today. There we go. We've been given 30,000 money. Oh, that is very good. Thank you very much. Okay, what happens if we treat 15 patients per day? What do we get there? So treat 15 patients per day. The reward is we increase clinic patients per day up to 15. Oh, can, can we not accept any more patients for the day then? We've got 20 just there. Patient intake from insurance companies. Oh, right. So I think, are we not going to see anybody else come in today? Because we've kind of reached our limit of 10 people for the day. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? We've got these people here, though. We've got... I mean, what have we got? Four people in right now. We've got one, two, three three and four. Four people are here currently. Two people are being treated. Okay, maybe we'll get to that point then. Maybe we could get to that point there. That'd be quite nice. Um, the next job for cheapo care is to open a medical laboratories clinic. I um, mean, yeah, a few people did point out that um, that I was going, oh, how on earth do we get these insurance people in? How do we unlock these? Um, yeah, it says right here where it says unlock objective. <laughs> It says it very clearly just there. It's kind of the only real words assigned to these things. I don't quite know why I didn't see that before. So, um, yeah, if we want to get liver TY, we have to open a clinic at any specialised department. Uh, what's this one here? So, buy five ambulances to get quick snap care. Overcurious have nine fully working departments. And Oopsie Corp, I like them, uh, create one doctor with character editor in a hiring card. Okay, we could get them. And they do seem to pay a little bit more money. I mean, Overcure seem to be the most profitable. They give you 150% of insurance payments or whatever it is. So I think we make a little bit more money from them. But um, yeah, could we do this? Because I think that is part of the... Oh, there's more. Hang on a second. There's more of these. Um, I think that is part of the um, the one of the DLCs, the Doctor DLC. So you can make a Doctor with a character editor. We could do that to unlock another insurance company. Then we've got Happy Life, which has a lovely boat as a little icon. That's quite nice. Open Infectious Diseases Clinic. Okay. <laughs> Happy Life is after they've been cured of the infectious disease, I imagine. You know, they get rid of that disease and they can have a happy life on their boat. Um, or Protect Care, open a traumatology clinic. Okay, we'll get there in time, I'm sure. Um, I think... Right. I mean, we're OK right now. Now, I have been told by many people many times, please get a pharmacy set up. 
a pharmacy will be amazing and it will make you quite a bit of money and it will set you up for the future so you won't be struggling for cash. So I think maybe we get one of those set up. It's not a thing that we have to have. It's not going to help us meet any goals. I mean, the goal over here to get 50 grand is to open a medical laboratories clinic. But I think we should possibly just get that in as well. We do have 70,000 monies. That's okay. That should be okay to build ourselves a pharmacy. And we were going to build it over here, weren't we? Hang on, that's the wrong way around. Well, kind of over there. I like it where we, hang on, which is the default way? There, I like that. That's kind of my, sort of my standard view of the hospital at this angle. So I think we're going to build it down here, weren't we? So as you're on your way out of the hospital, you could pop into the pharmacy, get your stuff, and then you could go out the doors. We could even put some doors down here to help people get out a bit quicker if they would like that. So I think maybe... We build the pharmacy down here. The only thing is, where is the pharmacy? Intensive care. There's going to be one of these things somewhere. One of these down here. Neurology, infectious diseases, traumatology, ad ad admin. That's a bit boring. Pathology. Um, okay, maybe is it is it a medical laboratories thing? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Hematology, microbiology, histology, cleaning closet. Okay, hang on. It's got to be one of these things in here somewhere. That's an intensive care unit. Um, that is general surgery. Okay. That is, what's in a, just a regular, that's internal medicine. So internal medicine office. That's an orthopedic office. That's a cardiology office. That's a neurology office. That's a DID office. Oh, uh, yeah, infectious diseases office. That's traumatology. That is, ah, it's an admin department, a pharmacy. Okay, and a gift shop. <gasps> a gift shop. Oh, I like a little shop. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, and a cafeteria, an employee's canteen, a place to eat proper meals. Oh my goodness me. Oh, this is wonderful. Hang on, maybe we can't. Oh, we could fit all that in down here. Pharmacy could go here, maybe, down there. And I've been told to make the pharmacy quite big. Um, the gift shop, that could possibly go just here. Again, on the way out. The cafeteria could sort of slot down here and then oh, and then a study room and all that kind of stuff. Okay, that could go over here. That would fit quite nicely over here. I think that'd be quite good. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, a common room is okay. They can all share that common room for now. Um, yeah, I think that's what we do. Although it is going to be very expensive. Do we need the 50 grand from opening up the medical laboratories clinic first? That might help out a bit. Gonna spend a bit of money to get it set up, but if we're clever with this, and if we don't build the rooms too utterly massive, which obviously we will do because it's me playing, um, then we should have a bit of money left over to then go and build our pharmacy. Um, okay, Frank has got a little bit of a technical issue going on here. Um, okay, again, yeah, it's telling us we need our kind of uh, fancy thing that we need to set up, the medical labs type thing. Um, okay, but he's got crumbly nail and nail discoloration. I would say he's got nail fungus. I think that's a pretty obvious thing there. I don't quite know why Dr. Penge or Dr. Dave couldn't work that out there, but there we go. Um, okay, so let's get this done first. Medical laboratories. Get that in over here, possibly. That'd be quite nice. Um, so how do you want to do this? We could put them all down here. We could have... All of the things. What goes into medical laboratories? What do we have exactly? Uh, let's go and have a little a little look at those. Medical laboratories. So a waiting room. So that could go down here possibly. And then we can have a hematology lab, microbiology lab, histology lab, and a cleaning closet. We will have a cleaning closet for that. And they can share these things over here. Yeah, okay. I think that's fine. So if we say set up, they'll have a little bit of a walk, but that's okay. I think maybe our medical labs can go down here. I think we build them down here. Um, I mean, is that going to be too ambitious? Is that going to be too expensive? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's quite far away. We need to build some more corridor to connect things up. Um, how are we going to do that over here then? How are we going to do that over here? Because ideally we did want a corridor coming down here, didn't we? We can have a corridor coming all the way down there. Could we still do that? Could we do that? Hang on. Go to here, build foundations. Oh, the foundations are so expensive. <laughs> okay, hang on, get rid of the walls, please. Because, yeah, there's a corridor going down that side. So how about, what if we just had a little corridor coming down like, oh, no, that's that's not right. That's not right at all. Oh, no, because it's not wide enough, is it? 
this needs to be a bit wider. Hang on. So that's got to be... Uh, hang on, how wide is that? Seven wide. So at the moment it's only three. So we need to add another four on. Oh, dearie me. Okay. <laughs> it's going to get costly, everybody. 3,600 monies just to build that little bit there. Okay, that's fine. But then I think we can have that coming down like that. Uh, no, then it's a corridor along the side of here as well. So that's going to come down like that, I think. If we bring that all the way, hang on, we could bring that to, say, the edge of the car park, like that, or the ambulance bay, or whatever that thing is. Bring that down to there, and then we could have the waiting room just here, and then kind of have a corridor going off in that direction. Oh, it's it's going to be so expensive. <laughs> the money, If we just build, if I go, right, okay, I want all of that. That's, how much is that? Oh, that's 18,330 monies. And that's before we put walls in or doors or anything else. Oh, dear. Okay. But we do need to do it. And I think it's important. Okay. Joe, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. The game is kind of hinting that we do need to get on with this. So if we had... I'd love a blueprint tool on this. I'd love a little blueprinting tool. Um, if we had a bit going like that. So that could be a corridor going around. Because I do like a nice corridor. This is a proven thing. So a corridor like that. Which means... So one, two, three. So all the rooms would be... I want to leave a little gap so they're not quite flush to the road. So we can put things like plants and such like across the side and make it look pretty. So the rooms would be, um, what, 10? So a size of 10. Do you know what? That's okay, actually. That works out okay. So here we go. We're going to spend a massive pile of money, everybody. We can't build right up to the edge over there. That is okay. So if we go like that, we've just spent a huge pile of cash. Botherations. Okay, never mind. Um, right, we need to sort this bit out over here. Hang on, though. Let's go to here and let's get uh, go to the regular clinic, like here, the emergency bit that we've got, and we'll set this up properly. So that is going to be a corridor coming down to there, and then we need to get rid of those walls over there, and then we need to expand out the waiting room. Oh, no, the waiting room's going to need rejigging, isn't it? And expand out the reception as well. So I think we'll do that now. So hang on. Reception can go to there. Is the game going to get fussy about the wall being there? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Yay. Well done, game. And the waiting room can kind of go out like that. Okay. Now we need to knock some walls down. So let's go and do that because this is fun. Here we go. So destroy walls. Away with you walls. So we don't want that wall there. And we don't want that wall just there. Okay. That is good. One thing. Ah, Yeah, I was thinking about this. One thing that I think we will do. I think it's going to be expensive. Again, we're going to burn through this money very quickly. I think we should have the floors of the same colour as the sort of the walls of the department. So we can see the clear kind of areas of where the departments change. I think that could be quite helpful. I've just realised that I've done, the, um, I've done that corridor bit wrong. That is not correct. Hang on. Bring that round like that. Um, there we go. One big corridor for the emergency thing. Because, um, cause, yeah, if we look at that... There's yellow there, and there's yellow there. And it doesn't really help, I don't think. It doesn't help kind of define where the different departments are. So I think the floor over here should be blue, the same colour as the floor for the waiting room over here at the minute. And then the floor over there should be that kind of lilac colour. And then we change the waiting room floors to be something else entirely. So maybe the waiting room floors could be just a kind of standard thing. They could just be something else. I think that's what we should do. Uh, do you know? Do we do that now? That's going to be quite expensive to get all these in, to get the floor in. Hang on. What if we did want to do that? So it's a dark coloured tile, and it's that colour for over here, for example. So how much is that going to be? That is. Um, oh, I think it's free. I think it's free because we've already got something on the floor. I think it doesn't cost us anything at all. Hang on. So if we overlay that on the top, because again, it's the same. It's the same type of tile. It's just a different colour. Ah. Okay, good. Yes, it's free. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, right. So that looks a bit better. And then, yeah, what do we want to do for the waiting room floors? I think they need to be something a little bit different. And I don't want to make them checkered. I don't want them to be tiles. That's just nothingness. That's just boring tiles. Thick coloured lines. Don't really want the lines around the place. I mean, maybe we give them hardwood flooring. That will cost us some money. So that's 600 monies. I think that looks okay. I quite like that. So make the waiting areas with the hardwood flooring and then the reception can have the light flooring. 
I think that works. But then is that going to look a bit dark? Is that going to look a little bit dark if we have a load of hardwood flooring in? It's going to cost one and a half grand to do it. Do you know what? It's fine. It is done. You know, what? I like that. That's OK. And then we need to make sure we fill in the reception bit of flooring over there with the tiles that have gone the wrong way. Botherations. OK. <laughs> What was that about the money that we had? Oh yeah, we haven't got much of it now. Okay, never mind, that's fine. And um, yeah, so now the flooring over here, we can change to the color of the walls, which I think is that blue there. So there we go. This will make things a little bit easier, I think. I mean, it might be a colossal waste of money, but I think in terms of visuals, it'll make it easier to just kind of pick out where the um, different departments are and how far they reach. Okay, so this is going to cost us money. So all that down to there. OK, what do we have now? Just over 40 grand. I'm sure this is going to be fine and everything will be wonderful. Uh, OK, right. So we need to get some walls in. So let's get the walls in over here. Let's get these in nice and quick. I'll just go and sort of drop the walls in. So corridor bit going down here and then fill that wall in going around that corner as well. There we go. We have a wall coming down there. We've got a wall going around the corner and we've put the big kind of tall glass window things in. So that side looks like that side. And there we go. That looks very good. We do need to do something about the furniture over here now because they've got more furniture on that side than we have on this side. I think let's have a look. So I think, yeah, can we put the things in over here as well to mimic those? So I think there is a vending machine just there. Then I think there might be a coffee and tea vending machine. We're going to make sure that it serves tea as well for the people that know what's good for them. Uh, then a water machine and then a bin. Although the bins aren't in here. Hang on, can we just drop her the bin, please? Can we just drop her that and pick that up? That's a very nice feature. Um, yes, we'll put a bin just there. And then we need to get some more modern benches to sort of back onto these. Yeah, OK, I like that. We haven't got enough plants around here, though, and that does make me a little bit sad. Can we get some plants, please? I love some decoration. Um, how about we've got some of those Drapsina things. We've got some of those already. Um, are they the potted plants? Oh, no, they're potted plants. What are these? There's, ah, we've got those somewhere else. They're over there. Are there any other lovely plants? Oh, yes, there are. Um, we will have a mixture of things. So we'll have a potted plant. Let's put a plant there and a plant to rotate it round so it's kind of mirrored. So by the side of reception, that's quite fun. And then across the end here, they're a bit little. Those things are a bit little. They don't seem to be very big and kind of towering. Hang on, rotate it round. So if we're looking on the end here, yeah, they don't seem to work quite as well. I think let's have a trash bin and a trash bin because that's important. You know, that's one very important thing that we can do around the hospital, provide bin facilities. And then oh, I think let's just go for let's go for these. Let's go for that just to add a little splash of planty color around the place. I quite like that. There we go. Um, yeah. That's fine. I quite like that. So now I think we can work on this bit down here. I've kind of distracted myself long enough, but I think now we need to get on with this, don't we? So go back to the whole building thing. So what colour do we want this and how do we want to kind of set this up? So like that again. So let's go to here. Let's go to medical labs and let's get ourselves the corridor for medical labs going all the way across like that. I quite like that. And then a waiting room can be sort of like that possibly. And then we have four rooms to go with it. So we've got three labs and one cleaning closet. OK, put the cleaning closet at the end. That can just be a little sort of 10 by three. That's OK. Missing equipment. Yeah. And walls and anything else. Um, and then we'll just put these in order. I mean, how, how much space have we got? 17. Bother. OK, hang on. Can we can we trim down the size of that because if we could make them six each couldn't we then so that could be six for hematology which is later like blood and stuff isn't it microbiology could be six and then the histology lab could be six i don't know what the histology lab does what is that um microscopic analysis of various samples okay so they do they've got big microscopes they look at they cultivate kind of bacteria and such like and the hematology is blood tests yeah, OK, that's fine. Right, so now get some walls in. It's these types of walls here. However, what colour walls would we like? Because now we have to pick the colour walls for this department over here. Um, I think 
let's go for let's go for yellow that'll do let's go for a lovely shade of yellow we've got the blue over there we've got the yellow over here it's all quite geek company and corporate I quite like that right so there we go rotate that round bring that down like that I mean I don't think the walls are that expensive thankfully very helpfully indeed yeah what was that 130 for those walls that's okay we can afford that right so bring that in like that so that looks like that wall going across there like that that's wonderful and then we've got to figure out what we do with the inside of these rooms i mean the cleaning cupboards um oh we didn't need to do that oh okay maybe we just wasted some money there never mind it's fine we're good at wasting money the cleaning cupboard had that didn't it and we're going to make the cleaning cupboards with the green walls because for some reason I said green was clean. Well, yeah, it sort of looks okay. So we'll have them as green. Or do we have them matching the colour of that? We should have them matching the colour of the thing, shouldn't we? We should have them matching the colour of the department. I don't need to do this, but I'm going to. <laughs> We're going to make it the blue. So that can have blue lovely tiles. Oh, was it that one or was it? I think it was that one, wasn't it? I think it was that one. The other tiles don't have colours on them so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, again, this game gives you too much freedom to do many things. And I'm faffing about doing unnecessary stuff. But I think it's yeah, it's fine. It's okay. We've, we've got $36,000. It's all okay. Um, and then the floor in there is the dark one, isn't it? That one there. So if we just do that, that's 80 of the monies. Yeah, because that's blue the same colour as that department. And then this one down here can be yellow. That one can be yellow down here. So we'll have some yellow flooring. Very nice. <laughs> Not as nice as I was hoping it might be. Um, and then, yeah, draw a thing across there. Have we got the other wall in? Uh, that can go across like that. That's still... Oh, I thought it was yellow. I thought I pressed yellow on the... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't think it costs anything because it's the same type of wall, just a different colour. It's all fine. Like that. That costs 100 monies. And across the back, like that. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Right, doors. Doors are required. Let's have a restricted area to go into there because that's very silly because you don't want people wandering into here. And then, I don't know, just have doors with oval windows. Just make them nice. Oh, that's quite nice. I quite like that with a little oval window. That's quite fun. Um, and we'll just put them... I mean, they're six, aren't they? They're a width of six. So how about we just have... Uh, yeah, to the side. And then by the side of it, we could put a plant as you go into each room. That'll be quite nice. Um, and then oh, we put a wall there. We didn't need a wall just there. I like the open kind of waiting areas. <laughs> just throwing that money away there. Okay. But we will have... Rotate it round. The wall going like that. Splendid. Okay, does that look right? Yes, it does. Okay, right. I'm happy with that. That looks good. Uh, we need to do the flooring of the corridor. So drop all the walls, please. So that's going to be the solid yellow tile like that. And then we're going to have the hard wood for the waiting area. And it's the sideways kind of hard wood floor. That's, that's, not, that's not that one. That's going the other way. I'm very confused. That looks like it should be going that way. And that looks like it should be going that way. Okay, I don't fully understand which way round the floors are going. But there we go. <laughs> Another 630 minutes. It's fine. And then we've just got to get these three rooms all kitted out. Okay, that's fine. That room looks significantly smaller than those. Is it because of the angle we're looking at it? Yeah, I think they're all the same, aren't they? Uh, right, so what do we do with these rooms here? What walls and stuff do we have with these? I mean, do they need to have kind of clinical looking walls? Because they're clinical looking rooms? Do they need to be, like, sterile or whatever? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think... What's that? Coloured tiles and wall. What did that look like again? Remind me. Um, that looks a bit bathroomy. I think that looks a bit bathroomy. What about that one there? Again, that just screams bathroom. I don't really like it. Coloured tiles and white wall? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan at all. What if we just change... What if we just had it a little bit different on the inside with some stripes? Just a couple of stripes just to mix things up a bit. I don't think wooden walls would go well with that. I don't think that's going to look good. Um, let's just have... Oh, hang on. Can we just have it like that look? That'll do. That'll make it look kind of different, won't it? Yeah, we'll just have all those rooms set up like that, please. That will do. 
Um, okay, right, let me go and just paint all the walls on because, you know, there's a few to do. Okie doke, all the walls are in and now we need some flooring. So let's go and have a little look. What flooring can we put into these rooms? Drop the walls, please. I mean, do we have dark lino flooring? Do we have that in a sort of yellow colour? Um, is that that dark? I don't think that is that dark. We could have it with some some lines. We could make them a bit different. Do you know what? That one can have dark lino flooring. And this one can have flooring with a stripe. Oh, that looks... Well, that's horrible. <laughs> that is very grim indeed. Why don't we have that one with light lino flooring? Again, just throwing the money away. Um, and this one can have a light coloured tile. There we go. Do you know what? That'll do. That's fine. So we're a little bit kind of unique. What have we got? Just over 30 grand now. Okay, we need to get at least one of these in. We need to get at least one of these set up. I mean, which one do we do? Which is the important one? I have no idea. Um, waiting room. We're going to make that fairly basic for now, I think. We're going to make it quite basic. We could do with some windows as well at some point. But we'll you know, get them in later when we have a little bit more money, possibly. Um, so how about we have... Some info TVs on this wall. So rotate that round. So put an info TV. So one, two, three from that side. One, two, three from that side. And then how about under the TVs, we have the queuing things like that. There we go. I quite like that. That's nice and simple. Um, do we need to have another couple of those on that side and that side? Do you know what? That might be quite good, actually. Do it like that. And then just have... The benches kind of in the middle. Can we do that? Is that going to work like that? Although I'd like to shift them over just a little bit like that. Yeah, OK, I quite like that. So some modern benches going like that and to there and to there. Can we put them there and there? No, I think down this end we'll have a load of things. We'll put the vending machines in and everything else. How much are they? That's that's 400 of your monies. I think right now. We'll stick with a water dispenser. So it's fine. You can have a little drink of water and that is okay. Um, and then we do, however, drip a dropper. Go and drip a dropper bin. Uh, I want to put one just there. And we'll put one in that corner and one in that corner. Because we want to keep things tidy. And then we'll get one of the big plants. I like those. Big plants. There you go. $29 on one of those plants. It's money well spent. Okay, so now in here, um, what's this? Blood. This is the blood room. What do they need in here? Um, okay, it looks quite big. It looks quite big. Do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It can be a very spacious department over there. It's okay. Um, I think we have ooh, lab desks. Yeah, we need those. Mandatory equipment of labs used as support for most of the lab instruments. Okay, so how about then we have one, two, three of those, four of those. Put loads of those down one side and then we can have maybe some cabinets on the other side. An equipment table. Oh, I like that as well. We'll have a couple of those in the corner. That's quite fancy. Um, and then what do we need then in here? What do we need? We need a laptop. Hang on, we need an office chair. So how about they do their work at the end? So that's where they can go and do the work stuff. And then they need... Why are those things flashing on and not? I've already put a chair in, game. <laughs> you can't put another chair just there. And then we get a proper PC, like a modern looking PC. Okay, so that's that sorted. Sample storage will have... How expensive is that? That's 2,399. I was going to grab two of those. Maybe we won't do that. Oh my goodness me. We'll put a little kind of paper holder thing just there for admin. Um, okay. Biohazard trash bins. We'll have, do you know what, to mix it up, we'll have a red one and we'll have a yellow one and we'll put another yellow one down there just for fun. Um, okay, glassware. Yeah, look, this is this is exciting stuff. We get to put down glassware and all that kind of stuff. A lab cabinet. Uh, oh, we'll have one of those. Oh, absolutely. We'll have one of those, please. Yes, that's exciting. How much are they? They are quite expensive, but it's okay. Uh, right, so we'll have one of those. And then I think we need to put all the stuff in, don't we? So glassware, glassware barrette. I don't know what a barrette is, but I kind of feel like we should put one of those in. A uh, hematology analyzer. That's probably quite important. An RIA, radio immunoassay, is mandated equipment of labs. 
It measures different antigen concentrations. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but right you are. It's many exciting machines. Okay, and they need a sink. Okay, how about then we have a lab sink over there, near that lab thing there. Okay, so is that all okay now? I mean, can we... Ah, we need a doctor, don't we? I don't think we have anybody working here. Not a doctor, a specialist. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay, okay, so we've got no staff, but the room is now set up. So it's just waiting for people. Okay, at the minute we can't do any kind of um, can't do any kind of night shift stuff. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, let's go and find a person. Kate Scott. <laughs> Kate Scott. Um, Kate Scott Marty. Uh, we've got ourselves a person at three hundred forty nine monies. Uh, biochemistry fifty three percent. Neurology twenty five percent. Will Young. Biochemistry sixty seven percent. Advanced biochemistry zero percent. I wouldn't brag about that too much. Biochemistry 76% for Peter Lee down here. No neurology. And Jennifer Jackson, she's quite good at advanced biochemistry, but not so hot on the regular biochemistry. Okay. Um, I mean, what do we go for? You're a gamer, so resting is faster. You've got dirty feet, <laughs> okay? Uh, and you have rest resistance. Rest levels decrease slower. That could be quite good. Uh, you're a night owl, you're a night owl, and you've got dirty feet as well. Why must we have dirty feeted people applying for our jobs? Um, I mean, what do they need to do this job? I imagine it's biochemistry. So let's pick the person with the highest biochemistry. Uh, we'll pick Peter Lee. He's a little bit cheaper, and yeah, he's got good biochemistry going on. I don't think we need neurology for any of these. I'm fairly certain that's not what we need. So, okay, Peter Lee. In you come, Peter Lee. You can be employed. We've been given 50 grand, which is very nice. I mean, the plan was to have a little bit more money to spend on our pharmacy, but uh, <laughs> we've got a little bit less money. But that's okay, because we have a lovely new lab setter, which is very wonderful. And of course, we have a new person. We've got Peter Lee, which means we need to go and spin the Wheel of Names to see who's going to come and join us in our hospital. And the Wheel of Names landed on Ken Masters. So there you go, Ken Masters. You are now in the game. You're working over in the hematology lab. Hopefully that's okay for you. But there we go. So we now do have at least somebody over here working in our fancy new medical laboratories bit. Let's see if anybody goes over to this place. It does look very fancy. They've got a lot of very exciting equipment in there. It's very expensive equipment. We've got those two sort of tables at the back with nothing going on on them. That's a bit of a shame. Can we put something on these things here? Um, hang on. Can we go to here? Is there anything we can put on there to make it look a little bit more sort of useful? How about a printer? We could put a printer at the back there. There we go. That's quite handy. I like that. And um, how much is the glassware? Small glassware is only 59 of the monies. We'll pop that onto there. And then what else can we have? Some regular glassware could go onto that thing just to make it look a little bit more lived in. Okay, right. Very happy with that. I mean, do we need any of these other things? Card files or anything? Maybe we could have a bookshelf just for fun. Just pop a bookshelf in. You might want to. Yeah, maybe whilst your printer's broken, because printers always break. I speak from experience. Um, when your printer's broken and you're trying to turn it off and on again, and you're going to, you know, get really angry with it and throw it out of the window, um, then maybe you could grab a book instead. Have a little read of a book, possibly. There we go. Um, yeah, okay. I like that. Ah, however... That room does lack a plant, doesn't it? It lacks a plant. How about one of the big plants like that in the corner? Very nice. I like that. Okay, splendid stuff. That room is now all set up, which is very good. Um, okay, move time on a little bit. And you know, I quite like the fact that it does kind of come round here. It kind of comes round here and it's sort of out of the way. We do need to get another cleaning person set up over there and these two rooms as well. But right now, Let's just see if that hematology room helps at all. I mean, it could be quite helpful. It, it might be handy. It might be a complete waste of time. I've got no idea. Um, also, we are one patient away from treating 15 patients in one day. What do we get? Increased clinic patients per day to 15. Ah, so we get 15 people coming in from the uninsured insurance company. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's very handy. That means we get more people in, more people equals more money for us and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see if we can treat one more person. Come on, somebody. Is there nobody here? I don't think there's anybody in. The doctors are just kind of sitting around the place. Dr. Dave and Dr. Penge are doing some... Hang on a minute. 
Hang on a minute. <laughs> Did I see you enter a green screen? Were you playing solitaire, Dr. Penge? Dr. Penge, that's outrageous. Dr. Dave, I'm going to keep an eye on you. Are you actually doing... No, look, you you were playing solitaire as well, Dr. Dave. Caught in the act. You've been rumbled. <laughs> that's it. We're going to have a little talk. Um, Dr. Penge, you're going over to have a bit of water. I'd like to think they made that into tea or whatever. But no, just go and have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a refreshment, which is very welcome. Yeah, I don't think... We have any more patients in, which is a bit of a shame because we're one patient short of reaching that goal just there. That would be very, very handy indeed. Is there anybody ill? Are there any ill people that would like to come to hospital, please? If you even the mild niggle, just you know, maybe you've got a slightly sore fingernail or something. We could have a look at that. We could certainly go and have a look at that. That'd be quite nice. But no, it doesn't look like there are. What time do we close? So the clinic opens until six o'clock. Oh, it's going to shut pretty much right now. Oh, we're not going to meet that goal. Botherations, never mind. Okay, so the clinic closes. So, okay, so now we're shut. So no new people are going to come in, but day shift is still on until eight o'clock. I don't quite know what they're going to do for two hours. Do, you know, like, yeah, filing and admin and such like. Oh no, we've got uh, Danielle's going to go and have a bit of food. That's fine. From the vending machine. There's a whole wonderful thing set up over here. Look, there's like a little trays of food and everything. I mean, that's that's better than your vending machine stuff. But okay, that's fine. Your, your needs are pretty good, actually. Oh, Danielle's needs are absolutely all sorted. That's very good. Um, So we just kind of wait now, do we? Do we just wait until day shift ends? And then they all go home and then the game skips the next day? I would imagine. I kind of imagine that's how it works. Because nothing is going to happen now. Because we're closed. Uh, okay, we'll just we'll just wait then, shall we? At the end of the day, I imagine we have to pay out quite a bit of money in wages. We're going to pay out several thousand in wages, possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to pay out quite a bit of cash in wages. Um, room workload stats. Ah, right, so we've ended the day. So uh, idle rooms, three. Rooms with critical workload, Zero. I imagine the idle rooms are the one down there. Those ones, because that's fine. Right, so it's all kind of closed. So people are going home. You're not going home. Oh, you went to switch off your computer or lock it or whatever. Okay, so everyone's gone home. That's fine. We do need to put... We need to remember to put a little sort of door down here, maybe. So maybe that's another way into the hospital, possibly. Because, um, yeah, people keep sort of wandering along here. It's a bit strange. So now what do we do? So normally there would be a night shift, but we don't have a night shift. And I don't think we're allowed to open at night quite yet. Maybe that's another thing we have to earn. So, um, I mean, what happens now? Do we just skip to the next bit? Or do we have to sit and watch nothing happen for several minutes? I suspect maybe the latter is what's going to happen. We're just going to have to kind of watch a whole lot of nothing happening <laughs> for a little bit of time. Um, okay, we'll see what happens when it gets to midnight. Maybe the game will kind of go, it's midnight, would you like to speed forward to the morning? Ah, here we go. Daily news. Renovation of a nearby clinic causes 45% more patients to come to emergency. Why would that happen? Why would renovating a nearby clinic make patient numbers go up? Surely it would make patient numbers come down. Because more people are going to go to the other renovated clinic rather than coming to us. That seems a little bit bizarre, but okay, game, that's good news. Um, no. It doesn't skip forward. Is there a button to skip forward? Am I supposed to press a button? Um, what's that? Uh, skip night. There's a button. Okay, yeah. Let's skip the night and straight on till morning. Okay. Oh, look at that. It flies through. Okay. So we get to the morning. Uh, yeah, nothing happened at night. Absolutely. That's all kind of fine game. We're okay with that. Right. So let's get everybody in because day shift has begun. This is good. Right. Now we do have our cleaner. Hopefully the cleaner will come in because the cleaner came in. And then they cleared off again. They kind of had a little look around and went, yeah, it's fine. I I'm done here. I my work is done. Everything is very sparkly. Um, I imagine now there might be some stuff to clean. Because otherwise, what's, there, must, there must be a little bit of like mopping up to do. Just from people walking around with shoes on, making a mess around the place. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> why the cleaner isn't doing anything. Where is the cleaner? Is the cleaner still not coming in? Do they start at 8 o'clock or something? Right, we've got people coming in. This is good. Are you the cleaner? Uh, yes, Royal Ladybug. There you go. Right, are you going to do some cleaning today? Or are you just going to kind of come in and have a little poke around and then go home again? 
We shall have a look. Currently set to cleaning. Okay, so go into... Ah, yes, you're actually doing some work this time around. There's a little bit of cleaning to do in the doctor's office. This is very good. I mean, ideally, we should possibly do this at night, really, shouldn't we? Maybe we should do quite a lot of cleaning at night. But this is okay, look, it's okay. We're not listening. Don't leave your... <laughs> Don't leave your trolley in the doctor's office. <laughs> Dr. Dave is not going to be happy about this. Dr. Dave is going to be very, very cross. You've left a big cleaning trolley in there. Um, okay, this is fine. You're giving it a scrub. Everything is looking good. Maybe you could have waited until there wasn't a patient in there. Also, why are you doing a bit of that room, a bit of this room, a bit of that room, a bit of this room? Just do one room at a time. <laughs> I thought you were going home again then. Um, okay, no. So the cleaner is now doing some cleaning. I assume yesterday when we hired the cleaner... It was all just too clean and there was nothing for them to do and they just went home. I think a few people in the comments said, ah, you need to zone out areas for clean. Oh, now they are going home. <laughs> but their job is done. Their job is done. I am clean. No no mess could happen in a hospital at any point. I am now going home again. Please call me if if you need to, you know, somebody to do an emergency mopping or something. Okay, bye-bye then. <laughs> That's very silly. We're paying them to go to their house. Fair enough, Royal Ladybug. Uh, if I had that job, I would be very happy with that too. Um, yeah, a few people did say you need to sort of um, need to zone out areas for the clean to clean. I think they clean the bit that they're assigned to. They clean the department that they're assigned to. So Royal Ladybug will clean our emergency department and that's kind of it. So they're not going to go over here and clean over here and they're not going to go and clean down here. But that's okay. That's fine. I think we can deal with that. That's not too much of a bother. Okay. Right, I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now because we've done quite a lot. We've got that whole kind of big building set up down there. I mean, it's not finished down here. This bit isn't done by any stretch of the imagination. We need to get two more rooms set up. But I think what we'll do is we'll save up some money and then we'll build our pharmacy down here and our gift shop. Let's not forget the fact that we do have a gift shop. I mean, it would be perfect if we could have it along here. Because, yeah, we're going to have a corridor kind of going that way around the edge of the radiology department. That's okay. We could, could we have a corridor that just goes straight down there that leads to, that leads to the reception bit. And we could have doors along here so people can come through here and walk in and go straight to reception. That could be quite good, couldn't it? And maybe put the gift shop there, look. So people might come in and go, I'm just going to go in and book in. Oh, look, I'm going to buy a gift. I'm going to buy a little hospitally gift um, and then go and check in a reception. Uh, hang on a minute. Let's have a look at you. Um, what do we need here? Then Hang on a second. Hang on. What do we need here? So I'm not quite sure why we can't treat this because I thought I thought the whole point was that we were supposed to be able to treat these now. So what do we need? I can't quite see how we're supposed to work out what we need to figure out what to do next. Ah, mycologic sampling or differential diagnosis. Okay, so that's a special skill that a doctor has. Yeah, they need the advanced diagnosis specialization. Uh, that though is a microbiology lab. Okay, that could be quite good. Right now, if you're crumbling nail and nail discoloration, I'm going to say you've got nail fungus. So that's fun for you. Um, get some antifungal ointment, please. That'll be nice. Rub that on your toes. It'll all be fine. Um, but yeah, we could... We could get a corridor coming down here. I'm very tempted to get that done now, just nice and quick. I know we said, hey, we're going to wrap things up. That'll do for now. But I think that could help out quite a bit. It's going to be a little bit of money, but that's okay. Just you know, right now, just get the basics in. I mean, that's wonderful. That goes right. To the, I mean, that's four wide, so it's not perfect, but it'll do. I mean, do we make that a nice big central corridor coming in like that? No, it's fine. Oh, the doors. How wide are the doors? The doors are four wide. Do you know what? That can just be a special four wide corridor. That's okay. Just a lead through here. I quite like that. Um, and Joe, we'll get the get the walls and such like set up. I don't know what don't know what they're gonna be like down here. Do you know what? Right now, let's just have plain walls. Just get any old wall in right now. That will do. It doesn't have to be glamorous at the moment. So just draw that over like that. Draw that round like that. Come down like that. Okay, so we've got walls. And then we want to get those walls there removed. Farewell to you bits. And then doors down here. Just very exciting, fancy, hospitally doors. And they can be right on the um right on the pavement. 
Oh no, but then we can't put anything nice there. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I've, I've messed that up as well. Hang on. <laughs> Can we dynamite? Um, hang on, not there. Like that. So blow up, blow that up, blow that up with dynamite because that's how we roll. Oh, I need to replace the pavement. Sorry, I've, I've demolished the pavement ever so slightly. Yeah, over there, there's a gap. So we've got a one tile gap so we can put plants and things. That might be quite good here. Yeah, okay, like that. Sorry, I've, 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 ruined the, I've ruined the city's flooring. Hang on, let's put the flooring back in. Sorry, everybody. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have the fancy the fancy tiling going in, possibly like that. And then we can put something there and something there. We can have nice things outside, like plants is what I'm thinking. Great big plants, that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so let's get the wall back in, like so... No, we can't build the wall there now. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, it's because, oh, it's because there's flooring in the way. <laughs> ah, dear. No, we can't do that. Sell the flooring. Destroy the flooring. No, we can't. We can't do that. Okay, does it have to be inside flooring? Just anything. White tiles. No. Uh, uh, we've, okay, we've, we've, broken, we've broken the game. We've destroyed everything. Hang on. Drop of that. Nope, that can't go on there either. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right, hang on. Do we need to go back to uh, to dynamite? And boom! There, there we go. We've used some dynamite. Everything's better with dynamite. That's wonderful. Okay, draw that. Oh no. Um. Okay, dynamite. D dynamite that bit there as well. Now can we put a wall in? Can we put a wall in now? No. Can we put a wall just there? Yes. That'll do. We'll have it like that actually. Maybe have. A little sort of bit, just you know, covering the edge off. That'd be quite nice. And then get ourselves a door, which is going to be in here. I mean, yeah, we want sliding doors. We want fancy kind of sliding doors going on. Hang on a minute. Let's do that, look. So can we put the doors in? Why can't we put the doors in? <laughs> game, you're confusing me. This prefab needs to be placed on a wall. There is a wall there, isn't there, game? It's fine there. Why isn't it fine there? Um, they're four wide, and that's one, two, three, four wide. Okay, right, hang on. I've clearly broken this in some way. I've clearly made a complete hash of this bit here. Um, hang on, let me just jab many buttons and make this bit do what I want it to do. Okay, after much button jabbing, I've realised that we have to kind of position the pointy inward arrow over here, so on the corner. We can't put it there or there because it's four wide, but it starts on the kind of left-hand side of the door, if you like. So yeah, the only place we can put it is just there, so the door can actually fit. So yeah, let's put a door in like that, and hopefully people can then use this to walk into the hospital. That was a bit of a rigmarole, I will admit. <laughs> that did not go entirely according to plan. Um, I mean, yeah, we do have the nice kind of paving going in, so I'd like to get that back in, if at all possible. So could we have... Just nice paving going in like that and like that up to the door of the hospital. There we go. I quite like that. And then, I mean, yeah, I kind of feel like that needs to go there and that needs to go there. And then we just put some some plant type things outside. I mean, can we can we get them in right now? Just again for the sake of completeness. Hang on. Where would where would outside the plant type thingamajigs be? Um, do we have an outside? That's prefabs. Uh, it's definitely not in there, is it? Hang on. Where would where would it be? Where would, like, outside things be? Uh, I mean, what's that? Furniture? Ah, furniture, equipment, and decorations. Okay, yeah, it's in here. There we go. Um, so, yeah, outdoor objects. Like this, like a little a little shrub-type bush sort of thing. I quite like that. Or some trees. <gasps> some flowers. Yes. Okay, flowers there. Flowers there. Oh, that's their lovely blue flowers as well. That's very nice. And then, can we have flower pots with yellow? Like that. And like that, geek of a corporate colours, you see, we've got it all sorted out. Okay, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. Right, now we'll finish up. That took way longer than it possibly should have done. But uh, yeah, at least people can now come in from down here and go and book in at reception over there. There's a little, you know, an extra way into the hospital, which is no bad thing. We might have to put some signs or whatever around the place, but that'll be okay, I'm sure. So there we go. That's looking very good. So next time we'll come back. Yeah, we'll try and get the pharmacy in. Try and get all that set up as well and just see how we get on with all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we want the gift shop, pharmacy, see if that makes us some good money. We could do with trying to get 15 patients treated. I mean, open a clinic at any specialised department. 
Not entirely sure what that means, but okay, we'll have a go at that. But we should see quite a lot of people coming in next time because we do have this 45% boost to patients coming in. So it should be quite busy, and it is quite busy right now, and it's what? The middle of the day, so it's looking pretty good. It's already 2 o'clock. Good grief, a lot of time has passed by already. Hopefully everyone's okay. Kind of took me off the ball with the time there. Okay, right, so looking very busy. We've treated nine patients already, so I think we'll get to that 15. So we'll see what happens next time when we come back to Project Hospital. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Project Hospital. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Unique, your time is now. And you have missed, Kunig. <laughs> this is this is unacceptable, Kunig. An Ashes caravan has been ambushed by man-hunting chinchillas. <laughs> Are you going to land on my potatoes? <laughs> that is just not the done thing. Oh, there's a lot of them. One, two, three. These guys have got amazing hair. I'm delighted that we've actually done something and it's worked. 